It is a celestial wonder, and millions of Earthlings will have a chance to watch. Eclipse t-shirts are selling in Ohio, solar soda in Texas, and in this Tennessee factory, 80 million safety glasses are being turned out. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? Long ago, a solar eclipse was frightening to humans, but became one of the earliest understood scientific phenomena that to this day remains awe-inspiring. There is that kind of human experience of darkness at noon, which is unexpected, unnatural, but here you have something kind of singular that mathematically and geometrically people were able to predict thousands of years ago. Monday's eclipse will begin when the moon moves directly in line between the sun and earth, casting a narrow shadow over the Pacific Ocean. But seeing it will depend on the weather, though it can all change locally when the moon shadow causes temperatures to drop. Most of North America will experience a partial eclipse, but the real show, totality, going from daylight to almost darkness, begins at Mazatlan, Mexico, just after 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 o'clock Eastern. 30 minutes later, the shadow up to 180 kilometers across will pass over Dallas. In another half hour, totality begins over Buffalo and Niagara Falls at 318 Eastern. This is where many Canadians will gather. Hamilton is just inside totality, Toronto not quite, which makes a difference. Kingston is in, Ottawa is out. Montreal is in totality, Quebec City is not. And then a glorious sweep across New Brunswick, and then over western Prince Edward Island, and finally across Newfoundland and Labrador, from the Caudroy Valley to Bonavista at 5.13 p.m. Newfoundland time. The eclipse exiting North America less than two hours after starting on the Pacific coast of Mexico. In the center of the moon's path, totality could last four minutes. Closer to the edge, about a minute or two. But even at 99% of totality, the sun can damage the eyes permanently. The sun, even at 1% brightness, is very bright. This astrophysicist says in those minutes where there's totality, it's safe to look up. After that darkness has fallen and the moon is fully blocking the sun, then you can look directly at the eclipse. But at no other point can you, and if you're outside of the path of totality, you can never look at the sun safely. So if you're planning to take a look, be safe. Carolyn? All right, thanks, Eric.